Well, in Pakistan, um, we thought the first key challenge was to change the law. And we did that. But now we're finding that the key challenge lies in um, enabling women to use the law. And there are two parts to that. One is that um, the law required that all organizations, workplaces set up inter internal accountability procedures um, so that women can um, appeal and share their grievances and get redressal. That's been very slow to roll out. So I think that's really the key challenge um, within Pakistan is getting internal accountability and the culture of that to be adopted in the workplace. Um, just related to that, there's another key challenge, which is that um, there is a provision in our penal code for um, women to allege um, the crime of sexual harassment outside of the workplace. But the culture of going to the courts and the culture of um, dealing with police stations is so patriarchal and hostile to women that women do not use that. So I think that's the second key challenge for us is how to make it more feasible for women to use what the law allows them to do. Well, you know, so much activism has moved on to um, uh, cyberspace now that, um, you know, we are, of course, it's enabled us to have more webinars to discuss issues as they come up. We share information. There was a, a new case of sexual harassment that um, students in a elite private school um, mobilized on, and there was a lot of, uh, you know, mobilization in digital space. But I think that um, COVID has brought to the fore the area of sexual harassment in um, cyberspace that needs to be um, addressed very seriously. So there's an organization called the Digital Rights Foundation that found that um, incidents of complaints of harassment in, um, in, in cyberspace had increased um, dramatically and three quarters of those incidents were reported by women on their helpline. So I think that um, under the pandemic, it's become an area of increased harassment, but yet without a lot of accountability yet built in to, cur to curbing that problem. Well, you know, from our point of view, working and living in Pakistan, it's really important that issues like this help to provide evidence. And the evidence this course um, so far has come largely from the Western world with respect to sexual harassment and a movement we know had global impact. But um, issues like this um, special issue provide a very important evidence base for countries um, in the global south where we can start um, using that to lobby for um, more awareness and more um, protective measures in our countries. <laughs>